Hey, Benjamin Soma here. I'd like to show you how to map the control knobs on an Ableton push while in user mode. First, we need to make sure in preferences the MIDI input from our Ableton push to port to or user port, the remote is turned on. So we can receive MIDI from the knobs. And then, just like normal, we'll hit Control M and click on a knob that we want. And I'll turn it here. And normally, we'd be done. But in user mode, you'll notice that when I turn it left, it just flicks down, no matter how slowly I turn it. And that's because we need to change the mode. So you'll notice here, by default, the mode is absolute. We're going to change that to relative linear twos comp, and that will allow the knob to work correctly. Perfect. Now, the other great thing you can do with MIDI knobs on the push is just tap on them. So we'll hit Control M again, and I'll click on this knob and just tap. Here, I'll, I'll show you one more time. I'm just going to tap on that knob, and that allows it to be flicked on or off, like a switch. If you had done that with a, a MIDI button, here I'll change it back to something else, like let's say, let's use that button. It's only a momentary switch in this way. So that's what's great about the tapping on knobs. And you'll, you'll see that I do that in one of the previous videos about the chord player. So, those are my tips on programming the knobs for the Ableton Push in user mode. You can find out more about the core player at BenjaminSoma.com.